What the fuck? Got him. Oh no. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee. They were inside the entire time? Fucking idiots, bro. They don't even fucking listen, bro. Like, I'm done. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What What's going on, blood? Us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Man, this is sad, bro. Fuck. I'm sorry, Kenny, man. I'm, I'm about to leave you, bro. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, Let's go. Guys, we should go find Vernon. Bro, I'm tearing up, bro. This is not cool. God damn it, man. Boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Yeah, you gotta stay behind me, bro. I got this. Am I gonna cry? Chad, am I gonna cry at the end of this? Like, I'm already almost crying already. Bro, I've been growing on Lee, bro. Lee's that guy. Hold on, John. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Am I moving or what? Oh, okay. You rescuing Clem? Yup, and we got bit. Oh, I'm so fucking sad, bro. What if Lee is immune? That would actually, like, be insane. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Where have you taken her?
What? Oh, hell no. That's why it's called No Time Left? Oh my god. Fuck, bro. Th the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Wait, you could have not killed him? What? Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? Threatened or lied? Wait, did we lie? I don't think we lied. We were honest. I think we threatened him. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Yup. Did you let Ben fall to his death? Oh, come on, man. Bro, he wanted to die, man. Did you reveal your bite to the group? The, the dumbest thing you can do is just not show it because you'll lose your trust and everything. It's like dumb shit you can do. Like, if you're turning, like, so what? Who came with you? Ben could have survived? Previously, on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! <laughs> Wait, the zombie did have legs. Clementine Wait, what? How did he crouch under there? That was an intelligent zombie. What? Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very what do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping me. Then what is it? What the fuck? A rescue. Is this like the lawyer that- no way. Is this a lawyer that cheated on my wife? Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. It's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Oh, so you admit it now. Okay. Hmm. Wait, can we cut off our arm? Wait, take that around your fucking arm, bro.
What is that? I'll take it. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Are they starting to look like food to you yet? <laughs> Kenny's always been food to me, bro. Hmm. This is a nice place. Alright, let's just, like, open this. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. How is he turning faster than Duck? I don't get it. it. Must have been a way bigger bite. I mean, it was, but. A little too late for that, bro. Him. At the very least, buy him some time. Are you chopping his arm off? Do we know it works? We don't know anything. It does work, but we know there's going to be a lot of blood. There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Oh no! Chat! Bro, I don't want to make this choice. Alright, let's cut it. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. You ah! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! 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 Gotta tighten the tourniquet. I'm sorry. Jesus. Bro, I'm about to puke. Oh, no, don't look at that. Oh, hell no. We thought maybe we lost you. You've been out a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you could believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone.
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? I mean, climbing a ladder with one hand shouldn't be hard. It, it, it isn't. I've done it. It's not. You okay down there? Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Jesus Christ, Lee. Ah! The fuck? What was that? What happened? Fucking peachy. That's convenient. Look at these motherfuckers. They are literally multiplying, bruh. They're multiplying. Come on now. Like, look at this shit. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now... Let's get our bearings. Jesus. Send help. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Hmm. Uh, parkour? This is episode 5, right? Yeah, episode 5. Omid? Ooh, the bell tower. Good thinking, my boy. That is a plan. What's up over here? Bell tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. Well, I'm not doing it. What if they had tied up the arm? I mean, didn't they have a tourniquet on them? They just didn't have it, like... You know, tight enough. But, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. 
Why am I the one picking up the ladder? Oh, my days. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Let's go. Damn it. <sighs> help the man, damn. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Yeah, that's true. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. <laughs> that thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. Yep. <laughs> bro, I like how Lee's gotten like... He really doesn't care anymore, bro. He's like, all right. Job, my boy. Oh, there's no way. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? Uh huh. But I'll find one. There's a hatch. Coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. I'll jump. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. All right. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. But there's a hatch here, though, no? You got it, Lee. It didn't even help me. Damn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Oh my god, he's a badass. He's better with one arm. He doesn't really bro, he doesn't care about getting bitten now. Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey guys. No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us. 
He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind, but the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourself. It's not like that, man. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances. Right? I mean, look at what happened to us, bro. This is bullshit. You might not even be around. So, with all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, okay, it's bro. Still, his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about? Oh shit! Here they come. In the house. Where the fuck did they come from? They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Weapons. For weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi. What is it? Front doors! Fuck you. Fuck you. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! It's up there. Yup. Take their goddamn arms off! Yup. Got him. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Sturdy my ass. Get upstairs. Go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Guys, help me with this. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow them down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Can't we just go in the attic? Like, why, do, why don't we just go in the attic? Bro, you guys are terrible. I'm out. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Go. That 
That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here. Take my life, guys. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. Hey, don't stop. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Don't tell me you're gonna fucking kill me. Dropped on my head. Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate. I will. No, I'm not gonna do that, no. Yeah, I knew it. He won't do that. You ruined that dude's face. All right. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts... <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Oh, yo, what's going on, sub? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Kleppy. All right. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I am. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. 
I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So let me get this guy. What do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Rose got enough evil. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. Bro, I'm about to cry. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, <laughs> do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would have. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, Ken. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? There's no way there's alcohol all, up here. We had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we don't tell me Lily's with them. Make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she not drinking? I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Bro, does she have a child? Keep a goddamn eye out. Isn't like isn't it like bad to drink if you got a child? It's the only reason I it's the only thing I could think this about. Place seems pretty sealed off. Unless she's got like a condition. Well. Who the hell? people we've seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more 
We all could have done more. Myself included. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. All right. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. All right. Painting. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Medallion? Omid, what you got there? It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. So fuck it, true. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. That's gotta hurt. There's no shot that thing vaults, bro. That's literally like Let's metal. It's not that fucking loose. Come on now. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Bro, just because it's an apocalypse doesn't mean every metal in the world is literally rusty and terrible. That's not how the world works, bro. That just doesn't make sense. It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. That is so sus. Cross here. Let the woman go. There's no fucking way. Wait till they've crossed. There we go. Bro, two people crossed just fine. I should be fine, bro. Oh god, if this thing just breaks, I'm done. Good. Stay that way. River Street's just up ahead. I look terrible. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I'm so sorry. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. I'll go. No, we don't. What the? Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Alright. Let's get some planks, please. That, that, that works. That works. Constantine, welcome. You streaming the whole day? Damn, bro. I just got in the mood to stream. Come on. Uh, damn. Oh, no. 
though. Shit, they're in there! Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> What are you doing? Get her, Ken. Okay, just said all that shit. And not do something now. Come on, reach. I got you, hun. Save her. Go, go, go. Can you fucking hear me? <laughs> Come on. Come on. I don't want nobody to die here. We got him. Get Kenny. No. Not Kenny. Get the fuck off me! No! Go! Oh my god, bro. Where'd he go? Maybe, maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe you'll find us. What if he doesn't? He oh my God, bro! I'm about to cry. <laughs> I, I can't. He, did. he. He decided to join his family. I guess. Smart man. I hope he at least saved a bullet for himself. Worst case scenario. Man. I'm like Batman up in this bitch. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up too clear. It's Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. But I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. You know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. Yeah, okay, so she is pregnant. Well? At least it doesn't look like a death trap. All right. He's going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Bro, I can't do this. If this thing falls, it's GG. Almost there. I mean, there, like, realistically, this thing should not fall. It, it shouldn't fall just because somebody's walking on it. Like, there's no fucking way. Shit! 
Shit. Damn. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. How am I parkouring with a fucking arm gun? Just act like one, bro. Damn, she kinda hot, bro. Yup. Coming for that ass. Move. Coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Kill everybody. Jesus. Jesus. Chat, who was your favorite character in this game? Damn. Really starting to like Lee, bro. This man is just badass. Okay, so we're in a fucking hotel. Apparently no walkers in this hotel either. Is this it? Somebody's in there. Oh, there's a trap. Interesting. What is it? Oh no, don't don't do that. We all know what's about to happen there. Is there anything we can do? I guess just look at it. I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. Who the fuck is this white guy? Horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Jesus Christ. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Hmm. I'll just, just do everything. Cool. Do I not seem cool? No. Seem like a racist white guy, I don't know. Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No fucking clue. No. 
I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. A what? Full of all sorts of food, water. Oh my god. Things you need to survive. I fucking knew it. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't Bro! Take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Oh, I have. Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. Well, you are a monster, my boy. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. He fucked up. He re I mean, he really did. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? I mean... We are all monsters, bro. We all do. Some more than others. True. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. I wouldn't do that again. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this? And spying on my dumbass. How are they connected, though? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! Uh -oh. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she... So Clementine's a snitch. Nah, I hate her now. Fuck her. Changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. Bro, she's like 12. She's eight. What? Wrong. She's nine. But oh, her shit. Her birthday was six days ago. 
I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. You'll take care of her? We'll give her a home. Why are you saying we? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Oh, hell no. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, shit! Oh! I have my hands off my keyboard. Damn! Oh hell no, oh hell no! Fucking die, bitch! Wanna give it our home? Oh, I don't think so. Come on. I can't win! I will awaken. Damn. No. Die. Oh. All right. I. 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 It's okay. It's okay. I. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I'm dead. Had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Clementine, we don't have much time. Okay. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sorry. You made this way worse okay, for me. Sweet. To get you somewhere safe, and then we have to talk, okay? Yeah, everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. No, let her keep that. Hey, you weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Let's talk. Which way out? Through there. I've been known that. Wait, what's in here? It's alive? Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Jesus. This is actually mental. Oh shit. What's up, my dude? What's up, homie? What's he doing? Oh my god. Are we gonna cover ourselves in blood? Oh no. Uh. 
Oh, brother. Yep. We don't have time for this shit. There. That should do it. I hope so. I don't think that's gonna do it. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Yo, look, it's Larry. Yo, what's up, homie? What's going on, man? Yo, I'm the new one in town. What's going on, man? Hey, yeah, you see my zombie daughter? That's right. Yo, Daniel, what's going on, man? Whoa, okay, okay. Yo, Lee. <laughs> yeah, a guy with the same name as me. Shit. Oh, it's Michael. Fuck. Yo, excuse me. Uh, Jack, could you like piss off? Oh no. Along with you stream, I think I'm gonna finish this game. Look at the stream, by the way, Tommy. Lee, wake up! Please don't be dead. Please no. Lee. Oh my God, he's fucked. I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents.
I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. No, I can't, bro. Where's the gun? Oh, what the f- I Yo! Me a way out over there. Mike! That guy's chilling. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Yo, Mike, come here. All the fuck is just looking at me. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. Mike, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Come on, man. I can't. You have to. Damn, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Here we go. Oh yes, you need to kill me. Oh no, that's gonna be so sad. I can't, bro. I can't. I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start. By getting that door open. It's locked. It's no big deal. It's just a glass window. Ow! Not with your hand. Oh, use like chair. There's a chair over there. I know. Um, baseball There's bat. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Out through there, Clem. I know. Well, fucking knock it then. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Here we go. Good job. Use the chair. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, you're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Clem, open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Can't you grab the baseball bat? Handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Handcuff me. No. This is so fucking sad, bro. I'm never playing a game like this again, by the way. This is it for me. But look at his fucking fingers, bro. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. 
Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with the good man. He's trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. There's a second game? I'm not playing it. I don't care. I'm about to cry here. If anything gets dangerous, the faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Claire. Always the gun. Oh my god. Watch out. Oh da The bat clip. Get the bat. Home run. Bop. Bop. Damn, I gotta hurt Lee. God fucking damn. I, did it. I got him. You can take care of yourself. See? No, not all the time. Yeah, you can. Don't worry. Oh my god, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, not like that. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. That mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. Uh, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you? Please. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. Don't leave me. You don't do that. No. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Duck holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. It's gonna stay bad out there until it gets better. But it will. One day. Until I, 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 you know, I, I, I don't. You don't trust anyone. You have I don't so know, bro. much more growing up to do. People will see how small you are and try to take advantage of you. Try to get you to do things you shouldn't. I won't let them. Good. And Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What is it? No, don't worry. All right. Oh, it's you. Me. <laughs> 
too. Oh no. No, 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 no. Removed Lee's arm, that's the obvious. Lost temper? 100%, like... <laughs> you and 59% of players surrendered your weapons. You and 57% of players didn't kill the stranger. Who? Who is the stranger? Oh, as in... Okay, I got it. You and 63% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. You're telling me 37% of people left him? Why the fuck would you leave him? Bro, fucked up people on God. <sighs> you defended his son in the drugstore. You fought him when he was in denial. You killed his son, so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. So, Kenny died. You attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when he needed it. She shot herself when faced with her son's death. So she pussied out. Okay. You trusted him with your axe despite his vendetta. You tried to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. So there was another option for him. He could have survived longer, I guess. I don't know. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You left her on the side of the road. She would have lasted a lot longer. You helped him get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. Fuck, bro. <sighs> you stood up for Ben in Crawford. You dropped Ben from the bell tower. Fuck, dude. Is this copyright? Wait, is this copyright? Oh, hell no.